So growing up, I used to love talk radio. In fact, I still do listen to KGO Radio San Francisco. Uh, and you can listen to it on the internet now. But radio is co completely changed. I mean, when I started listening to radio, I had a little crystal radio that I built it from a Radio Shack kit or, or a Heathkit kit, if you can remember that. But now we have iPhones and Android phones and all sorts of new devices that are going to be on your face and all sorts of stuff. So where's the future of radio going now and podcasting? Let's talk about it right now with uh, Swell and uh, see what the future of talk radio is. Thank you, Robert. Who are you? Uh, my name is Ram Ram Kumar. I'm co-founder CEO of Swell. Uh, we create a product that is inspired by Pandora, but it's for non-music, spoken word, news information content. It's a really simple, easy to use mobile app, which you launch and it brings you great content from the like from NPR, from TED Talks, ABC, BBC, really high quality content that is brought to you in a lean back format yeah. that you can consume, listen to, and as you use the app, it learns what you like and it brings you more of that, it brings you what you like. And um, So it's trying to be contextual, that's right. which is, let's be honest, this is a very crowded space. I mean, I, my taxi driver in New York a couple of weeks ago was showing me that he had five or six different podcasting apps to listen to things like Twit and, and NPR and uh, his favorite radio stations and talk radio people. There's a lot of apps in the space. Apple even has a podcasting app, right? So what makes Swell different? Very great question. What makes Swell different is it's the best service for discovery, for lean back discovery. If you don't, all the other apps out there expect that you already know what you want to listen to. You go in, you search, or you browse, you look at a list and pick. Swell's about listen and consume. And if you like it, continue to listen, otherwise skip. And the it's really natural, it's very, it's an evolution of radio. It is the only service that has this model that's not about search and browse and look at, look at a list and choose. Yeah, so uh, when you first get Swell, on, it, it's an iPhone app, right? That's right, so can you, I show you? You, you yeah. can pull it up, but let's talk about the first experience. Yep. What do you ask about me to know what to give me the first experience? That's so we, right, so we allow you to connect with, we ask you to, if you want to connect with Twitter or Facebook, uh, if you do connect with Twitter, we uh, we get a first, we seed your interest based on who you follow. But really the service kicks in in the first half hour of listening. Uh, if you listen, let's say you were presented a TED talk and you love that TED talk, then we understand that you like it. And we, we uh, the, algorithm, the algorithm understands that it should bring you more TED talks. And so that's really, the service is very deeply about respecting your time, you as a listener's time. Yeah. And so it, uh, yeah. it gets it starts pretty good because it has some customization based on the context of who you are, but it gets better over time as you listen to it. Exactly. Can we just see it just so we we see what the UI looks like? Thank you. Yeah. Here's the app. I launch it by clicking on the swell icon and um, it's a really simple UX, as I described. You can listen to it in the car via Bluetooth, or you can listen to it on headphones. Uh, you can listen. If you like it, continue to listen. Otherwise, swipe to skip. And so they gave me a free economics. Uh, and it, right. does it know that you, like this is a six minute long yeah. radio piece from uh, Free Economics Radio. If you skip that in the first 10 seconds, that tells the system probably something different than if you listen to five minutes of it, right? Exactly. So that's really what it's paying attention to. It doesn't, you may skip for a number of reasons, but if you consistently skip certain content, if you, if you, if you're, if you consistently skip um, sports content, for example, then it understands that you don't want that. Or if you love sports content because you keep listening, you continue to listen to it, then it understands that that's what you like. Yeah. Let's take a look at a few other tracks that come up. There's a sports update. Yeah. Um, so uh, by skipping that, it just learned a little bit that it should give you a little less sports. That's time. right. But it's really organic. It's you have to consistently tell it that you don't like it, and yeah. 
there is a quality curation element that is important. Um, now I have a yeah. I have a forty five minute commute both yeah. ways, so an hour and a half in the car every every day, and I, I love just putting it on, and yeah. it automatically plays to the next one. That's right. right. So it, you can just let it be like talk radio and just let it keep going. Absolutely. And is if there's a news event, one thing I liked yeah. about KGO Radio, and I I still listen to KGO once in a while, is um, they'll break in with breaking news. If, if they're like when Steve Jobs died, they they said, "Hey, we have a news announcement. ABC News has just confirmed Steve Jobs has died," and it, and they broke into the content. Are you thinking about that? Totally. Thank you for that question. So when you when you lead, when you first listen to Swell, it gives you an update, a news update that brings you brings you up. Uh, and then we have a, a notion of a daily live editor that. Uh, you know, when a major news breaking event comes in, yeah. then the service is adapted to to expire content that no longer applies and, and introduce new content. Um, so indeed, we, we we think a lot about freshness, newsworthiness, quality, and uh, you know in, that fits in this format of this Pandora style format. Yeah. Um, how how many different data sources? Because I saw yeah. NPR, yeah. I see Marketplace Tech. How many different? Uh, radio station or, or audio feeds are you watching and are you presenting? Several thousand, so it, it combines, like I described, NPR, TED. And, it can, and look it combines at me. It, it looks better on camera if you look at me. There. It combines, you know, th I give you some names, like uh, the, the podcast from Economics, from the, from the Economist, from Radio Lab, from Bloomberg, from uh, all, the, all the best content out there that's been posted online, that's been posted on iTunes, that's being made available is aggregated, indexed, and, and brought to you. We are not. I want to be clear that we are not a content producer. We are about. We are an aggregator. Uh, we want to bring to your fingertips content that you love the most. That's available. Yeah. Uh, we work closely with content providers. We, uh, you know, we are here. We are like the. We are also inspired by Flipboard, the model of uh, bringing to you the content you most care about. Um, now you do real well in the United States. All this content is the United States, but like my uh, wife is Iranian and she likes listening to Iranian radio. Do you switch context based on nationality or location or anything like that? That's, that's or are you only for uh, white American guys? <laughs> like me? That's that's that's. I love the NPR and I love the KGO and that you know ABC Radio. That, this type of stuff I see up here is, is great for me, but um, my wife might want something different. Thank you. Our vision is to expand to international to 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 cover uh, all all of the world. But really, the our initial announcement, the, as the product that's live now, covers the U.S. and some Canada. You know, a lot of overlap, uh, but really not not beyond that quite yet. But that's really our vision. Uh, content is very much about geography and location. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. If you're in uh, Europe, you're going to listen to BBC Radio. That's Here, right. you're going to listen to. You know, Fox or KGO or or ABC or uh, some or NPR stuff like that. W what if you want something a little weird? Let, let, you know, maybe I listen to a week of talk radio, you know, sports talk radio, and then I, I'm tired of sports today. Sports is boring. I want to hear tech talk. Can I switch some, awesome. somehow to some other context? Love it. So let's see. So thank you for the lead up question. So as you go in. There is a representation of your interest that's shown to you in a, in a tag format. Let's say you're interested in tech, yeah. then really you can you can you can listen to tech and the way. So there's a this week in startups episode, um, you know, new new story with a founder. Yeah. Um, uh, there's a product people. There's a really awesome uh, uh, show about products, how tech products are created, um, and then CNET story from CNET. Yeah. Um, and then the way this has been uh, created is the that it still preserves the lean back. Yeah. You're not obliged to to go back and unset your selection because it just goes back after three tracks. It goes back to your original queue, okay. and by default, the algorithm uh, brings you a diverse set of topics. And uh, but if you want, if you're in the mood for sports or technology or science. You can listen to that. Your, your kids in the car, and you want to play science. You know, you can do that. Now, um, I know some some of these things are really long, like yeah. like talk radio. Is yeah. uh, you know talk when you listen to a radio station, yeah. you don't care that you come in the middle of the conversation, you listen for ten minutes, and you, and you leave. It just you you do that. Um, he, on the internet, though, I, I want I might want to skip. You know, to maybe the next guest because if you're a, you know a, a talk radio host, you might have five guests in a show. 
uh, or you might want to skip ahead, or you might want to even listen at, at a faster rate so that you can listen to an hour or show in, let's say, 45 minutes. Do you have any, are you thinking of any of those features? To yeah, so in fact, you, you know, it's a great question. Question around length and how do you adapt to the length of your commute? How do you adapt to the length of the time that you have to listen? The way we do that is okay. we, th we think deeply about it and try to come up with a great approach. And, and the approach is, you begin, like I described, you, we begin with a short update. Um, and then the algorithm leans towards shorter content in the beginning of your listening and then grows larger as you, as you continue to listen. So it adapts naturally to the length of time that you have to listen. Um, you know, we have in mind you know, features like mood, uh, you know, mood selection, uh, learn the length of your commute and adapt to it automatically. Um, if there is particularly long content and you expressed a preference uh, against it, then we learn that and we adapt. Uh, so we, we think about that deeply, but we don't, some of the long content is so, so great, like This American Life, you know, yeah. and This Week in Startup is such great content that we don't want to exclude it. No, no but you can yeah. make it easier yeah. to consume it because right. like This Week in Startups, maybe there was five key points, right. you know, and it, if there was metadata that, yeah. you know, like comments or pointers that I could skip ahead into the show and find something really good, much better. Yeah. Even this show, right? Yeah. This, this piece might be much more interesting than the beginning yeah. to somebody, right? Yeah. Yeah. But they have to start at the beginning and listen all the way to this this point. Yeah. And that's that's hard in a short period of time. Right. So what you're asking for is a, something like a segment skip yeah. that understands that takes an hour long uh, program and divides into segments. In some of the content, like um, Morning Edition or All Things Considered, that segments, those segments are already available and we are able to use that logic. Like uh, what the service does, what Swell does today is among all the segments of uh, Morning Edition, it brings you the one that most closely matches your interests yeah. automatically. Uh, you know, for some of the other content that is not already segmented, we're working on a way to automatically segment it and bring it to you. So that's, you know, that's a natural, again, a natural evolution of the product. Yeah. Uh, it is really about understanding the, the algorithm is, let's say, three levels. First, it's it's this expert human curation that decides whether the content is, whether, whether the a program is worthy of being presented. Yeah. Then there is the understanding your interests. You love this week in startups or you love product people. We understand that and bring it to you. And then there's a third extremely powerful element which is around collaborative and community. Yeah. Let's say today's episode of, uh, of this week in startups is just awesome. And out of 100 listeners that was presented to 80 of them listened through it then the algorithm understands that and brings it to you automatically. Right? Are you watching my Twitter stream inbound? Because if all my friends say, oh my God, Jason Calacanis did a great This Week in Startups this week and has a great guest that just was mind blowing, that's in tw a lot of that data is in Twitter, right. right? The sentiment around totally. content is in, in Twitter. Are you thinking about mining that Twitter stream for that, that sentiment and reorganizing my radio station by that? Absolutely, I mean, that's so powerful because that's so breaking and fresh and so new. That sentiment is, uh, and so, um, you know, in, in a way, in, in sort of, I go back to that value of time. Value, when something is breaking and new, something breaking on Twitter, that is something that you want to hear now. And, um, uh, you know, I, I want to say really about, like I said before, about respecting your time yeah. and bringing you uh, at, at many levels, at about allowing you to use time, your downtime and your driving to, to be informed and productive. So you have a lot of features to right. build, <laughs> right, right. it sounds like. Tell me about the company, how are you funded and uh, how are you gonna make money? Is it just a traditional advertising play like Pandora has where you're gonna stick a 10 second ad in? Or uh, Tell me what you're thinking about that. Yeah, so similar to Pandora, we'll have uh, subscriptions, we'll have advertising um, and really so about about a third of all listening in the US is uh, non-music listening. So we are, is a company the size of Pandora or Spotify in this space. The company is funded, we, we made a decision to lead with the product because we believe that the product stands on its feet and it's, it's solid and we believe in the product. Um, we, we intend to announce funding later and you know, we'll be sure to, sure to let you know, but it's really, uh, we, we think that the right, the right approach is to really let this product speak for itself and have the product 
um, you know, show, show traction. Yep. Um, so you're bootstrapped. Yeah. <laughs> and I like bootstrapped companies. My, my uh, home, home, hometown GoPro was bootstrapped. Actually, we, I'm right? sorry, we are funded. I should, I should clarify. But okay. we are just not, we are leading with the product. Oh, okay. So you have funding, you're just not announcing it. Okay, got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, anything else I need to know? Because it's the future of radio. Where, where do you think this is going? Uh, first of all, do you, this is iPhone only right now? Are this you is iPhone be, only. going to go on Android and other, and maybe Google Glass in the future? Yeah. And, and we're working on the Android version. Google yeah. Glass, indeed. We, in fact, we talked about it. The uh, speakers built inside Google Glass could be, could be the vehicle through which the radio is delivered. And actually, you know, that would be an awesome experience um, uh, to complement what we're doing. Um, the service is really optimized for uh, when you're not looking at the screen, right? Yeah. When, you're, when you're listening and when, you were, uh, when you're exercise, running, jogging, or, or driving. Um, yeah. Yeah, it's makes uh, sense. Yeah, where do I learn more about it? Uh, swell.am. It's Swell on the iTunes App Store. Um, yeah, so uh, on the web, uh, Swell. Swell.am. Am. Thank you so much, and thanks Thank for uh, what you're doing for Talk Radio. Thank you. Thank you for that.